Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Mad Kaiga here. Up here today with part 10 of the PlayStation 2 ASMR collection. Um, I just want to start the video by saying uh, I finally figured out what is wrong with me. I have something known as a costochrondicitis, which is, in layman terms, almost uh, a really bad chest infection, one could say, and uh, it does affect my arms and things, so unfortunately uh, I start to get a bit of pain so I have to be very careful with what I'm doing and things but with that being said I'll get this intro passed and let's get it done these are the games I picked up the other day so MX World Tour again much of the same Bassmaster Fishing <coughs> NBA Live 2004 More basketball games Disney Move Part of the iToy series iToy Play Tour Again Much of the same Frequency A rhythm music Game there Spy Hunter Tour Really bad a rendition of the game <laughs> I toy chat light more of a interesting concept as much as more than a game let me have a downhill domination I've heard good things about this game sort of like a, a bike racing game with uh, motorbikes and uh, not motorbikes uh, you know mountain bikes and things and uh, I hear it's uh, meant to be really fun let me have a downforce a, uh, another racing game looks um, arcadey and things so could be quite fun then we have dog's life very uh, interesting game you play as a, a dog and yeah it's um this is uh, something original i will say a dodgeball kind of like the old school dodgeball game but uh this game is uh, very <laughs> racist, actually, surprisingly. Then we have uh, Cars from International Championships. Again, Cars racing games are actually uh, pretty fun. Then we have uh, Wally. -E. I've never watched a movie, so but I hear the game isn't too bad. Then we have uh, Cars. Again, much of the same fun racing game based on movie characters and things so Disney's Donald Duck Quack Attack I believe I played this on PC when I was younger nothing more than an average platformer I guess Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End unfortunately uh, Pirates of the Caribbean never really got a good good game The Haunted Mansion Extreme Skate Adventure Disney's um, yeah this this is basically Tony Hawk with Disney characters uh, it's nothing special unfortunately driving emotion type S I believe um, I don't know uh, made by Squaresoft driver parallel lines driver series uh, sort of uh, went off on a weird tangent and sort of a uh, most people lost interest unfortunately let me have driver 3 I remember this game as a kid really enjoyed it let me have dragon card actually a surprisingly um, fun game kind of reminds me of a uh, dynasty warriors with dragons and things quite fun second game is quite rare uh, dragon slayer 3d special edition I don't know if it includes the original game as well on there, I don't know. Dragon's Rage, again. Another dragon themed game. Let me have Dragon's Quest 7. The Journey of the Cursed King. I think it's Dragon Quest 7, I'm not sure. I actually started this game as a playthrough and never went back to it, so I apologize for that. Let me have Dragon Ball Z Bordekai 1 and 2. I love the Dragon Ball Z games, most of them are really good, some are not that good, but uh, these ones are quite good for their time. Dr. Doolittle, 
one of the blasts, the terrible attempt at making a, a game based on a movie that never needed a game in the first place. Bringing back old movies as new games. <laughs> Let me have Devil Kings. I hear good things about this game. I hear it's like um, Dynasty Warriors, but um, mixed with Devil May Cry, so right up my alley. Let me have Deus Ex, a series which uh, I really need to uh, get into, because I hear these games are meant to be extremely fantastic games. Then we have Destroy All Humans 1 and 2. Yeah, these games were really fun back in the day, and uh, yeah, they're still pretty decent games. So, I wouldn't uh, pass on them if I were you. Demolition Girl. Um, this game is uh, extremely um, something else. Ex I don't know what to say. Look up a review for it. Delta Force. Black Hawk Down. Team Saber. One of the many tactical shooters that the PlayStation 2 had to offer. Then we have Def Jam Vendetta. Really fun arcade uh, wrestling game. Um, I cannot fault this game at all. It's really fun. Then we have Deadly Strike. Um, it's nothing special. It's just a very average uh, old school hack and slash game. Not great. Dead to Rights. Um, again, this is actually a pretty fun game. Unfortunately, um, the series sort of died off, unfortunately. Dead or Alive 2. I love Dead or Alive. Really fun games. Some of the best fighting games in my opinion. <sighs> Dave Mirror. Freestyle BMX 2. Again, many um, acclaim really did like their uh, skateboarding and bike games. Disney Sing It. Yeah, not much to say. Disgaea Hour of Darkness, one of the few JRPGs that I'm happy to own. Um, I played a little bit of Disgaea 3 on PS3, but that's it. Um, but yeah, it seems like a really good game. Dirt Track Devils. Yeah, another uh, average racing game. Then we have Dirge of Cerberus. <laughs> Excuse me. Final Fantasy 7. Uh, this is basically what happens if you take Devil May Cry and Final Fantasy and uh, they have a baby. Um, unfortunately, not many people like this game, so. Let me have Dino Stalker. Another dinosaur themed um, light gun game. This looks so fun. Reminds me of a Jurassic Park arcade game. Let me have Die Hard Vendetta. Sorry if I'm going a bit too fast. I, um, I can't take too long doing this video because my son's in his room upstairs so I don't want to leave him for too long. <laughs> Let me have Die Hard Vendetta. Um, yeah, this isn't that bad of a game actually. I remember playing it a lot on the GameCube. Then we have Defender. Again, unfortunately same thing with uh, Spy Hunter. I take an old school arcade game, make it in 3D and it uh, sucks. Then we have one of my favorite series the uh, devil may cry series one two three and three special edition but i think this uh, had yeah this has two discs in this has a monster hunter promo disc and a ssx thing but i have the special edition anyway so um absolutely fantastic series of games i uh, love these games and um i'm so glad that they're bringing out a five um, I know that it's going to be really good, I can already tell. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The movie actually isn't that bad, I thought I would hate it. You know, being such a big fan of the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. But uh, yeah, the movie isn't too bad, but the game is... Uh, what do you expect? Average. Let me have Chaos Legion. Similar to um, Devil Kings, but this is kind of like a mix between Final Fantasy and Dynasty Warriors. So some cool concoctions going on there. Center Court Hard Hitter. Tennis game, yeah. Celebrity Death Match. Um, yeah, this is actually a, a terrible game, but it's a really funny game to play with someone. 
Then we have Cell Damage Overdrive, one of my all time favourite games. I even have the HD version as well. Love this game to pieces. It's so good. Amazing game. Then we have Catwoman. Never watched a movie, never played the game, but from what I hear, I'm not missing too much. <laughs> Then we have Castlevania, Curse of Darkness. This is actually the first PlayStation 2 game that I got brand new of Amazon, so yeah, and it only cost me £15 and it was sealed, so I was very happy with that. But uh, yeah, the game isn't too bad. I played about half an hour of it. It's kind of like um, more of an RPG than anything else. Then we have Casino Challenge. Played this on a video and it's, it's nothing special, I assure you that much. Watch my video. And you'll see. Card Fury Racing Champion. Uh, Card Champion Fury Championship Racing. Fun game, but it's quite a challenging game. I can never win. Captain Scarlet, another one of these blast titles. Yeah, don't don't even need to say much. Capcom Classics Collection. Really good uh, selection of games on here. Um, yeah. 1945 and stuff, so really fun compilation disc there. Then we have Crash and Burn. I hear fun things about this game, it's kind of like a burnout um, esque style game, lots of destruction and things, so right up my, my alley. Then we have Cool Shot, another um, billiards, um, you know, ball tabletop game, I guess you could call it. Conspiracy, weapons of mass destruction. <clears throat> Believe nothing, trust no one. Again, I think this is a just a first person shooter. Then we have Crazy Taxi. Um, yeah, every system has Crazy Taxi on it, or, you know, at some point. So, classic game there. Crazy Golf World Tour. Terrible game. One of the worst uh, golf games I've ever played. Then we have Crazy Frog Racer. One. Yeah, then we have Crazy Frog Racer 1 and 2. Um, terrible games <laughs> from what I hear. I remember playing this one when I was younger, but never really got into it. <laughs> then we have Crash Twin Sanity. This is sort of where uh, Crash Bandicoot went off on a, a weird tangent and... Uh, Instead of becoming more like the original, you know, platformer, it changed the uh, formula and uh, made them into more, you know, action games, unfortunately. So, come on, you know, same with Mind of a Mutant. Uh, sorry, uh, Crash of the Titans again. Unfortunately, uh, they sort of really changed the games and made them more into action games. So... Then we have Crash Nitro Kart, kind of like a, an updated version of the Crash Team Racing, but we are getting a remaster of Crash Team Racing, so I'm really looking forward to that because I loved Crash Team Racing as a kid. Then we have Countryside Bears, one of the many Phoenix titles that um, don't really classify as a game, it's, it's, you know, it's children's. But uh, these games are notorious for having some of the craziest animation, you know, little short movies um, on them. And uh, <laughs> you watch them and uh, you, you won't forget them. They are something, really something else. But I might watch one for a video one day. See why, girls. I think this is a two guest game, you know, so you can have two different characters to play as. I think you can play as a, the ninja one and the more sort of one with a gun, so it seems interesting. Then we have CSI, Crime Scenes Investigation, Three Dimensions of Murder. Yeah, there's, you know, there's a few of these uh, murder investigation games out there. I've never really played them. Um, but uh, I know some people like that sort of thing, so... Crusty Demons. Sort of like a more 
adult themed uh, bike racing game and stuff, so violence and things will be expected. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I hear this actually isn't that bad of a game. I hear this is actually quite quite a good game. Then we have Crisis Zone, kind of like a, um, a time crisis game. I think it's set in the same universe as Time Crisis, but I think this was an exclusive to PS2 thing. Cricket 2002, much of the same. Ooh. I don't get old. I level up. That was some uh, chocolate coffee I was just drinking. Really nice stuff. Crescent Suzuki Racing. Supercars, superbikes, and uh, super sidecars. Yeah. Then we have Dark Watch. I hear good things about this game. Made by uh, High Noon Studios. And, um, yeah. They, they, they've made some good games and uh, yeah this is kind of like a um, painkiller-esque style game really want to give it a go let me have a Dakar 2 damn it so, excuse me I'm so sorry excuse me don't dream do it hope it's um, like I said I love the uh, watching it growing up but as for the games I don't know Couple of dance and stage games here. We got here Dance UK and Dance UK Extra Large Light. And then Dance in Stage Fusion and Mega Mix. This is basically um, Dance Dance Revolution, but in in Europe it's known as Dance in Stage, whereas in Japan and I believe America is known as uh, Dance Dance Revolution. But uh. Yeah, really, really fun games to play if you have a dance matter. Love playing them in the arcade. Chat Demon Summoner, one of the worst PlayStation 2 games ever made, in my opinion. Do not. It's, it's so bad. Really terrible game. Cold Winter. Um, I think this is actually not a bad game. It's like a first person shooter. It looks, looks kind of good, actually. Codename Kid Next Doors, Operation Video Game. I remember the show, never really watched it though. Code of the Samurai, kind of like a budget Kengo or something there. Uh, city, city Crisis, Helicopter Game there. Charlotte's Web, one of the, again, terrible blast games. Charlie's Angels. I hear this is an um, extremely, an extremely terrible game. Conan. I don't think it's based on the movie, just the character. Commandos Strike Force. Another sort of um, first person shooter set in World War Two. Commandos Two: Men of Courage. I believe this was a PC game back in the day, and uh, I've played it. Ex like a strategy game. Colin McRae Rally 4 and 3. Then rip Colin McRae, but he used to have some really good games. And then last but not least, we have the Conflict series. We have Conflict Desert Storm 1 and 2, Vietnam, Global Storm, and Conflict Zone, which is a real-time strategy game. Um, these are tactical um, third person shooters and uh, yeah they're very known um, a lot of people love these games back in the day um, but I think SOCOM was more popular than these uh, but uh, yeah so there we have it part 10 one part left and then we have the final um, you know overview and things but uh, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did feel free to leave a like and of course comment below Sorry, I'm not talking, you know, super quiet, it's, it's, it's hard, but, um, if you, and of course, feel free to comment below, let me know how you're getting on and things, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already, and join the family. Take care, and bye-bye. Ah, have a nice day, and bye-bye.